Sunspark makes it easy to create personalized videos at scale. So instead of recording individual videos for every person we want to reach out to, we can just make one video and then use AI to automatically add their first name in the intro, like hi, Bethany, hi, Brandon, hi, Ben, and then make it look like we're recording over their website the same way it looks like my camera bubble is recording over this video. So the way it works, you'll go to this dynamic video section of SendSpark, click create dynamic video, give it a name, and click start creating. Then from here, we'll choose the video that we want to use. I'm just going to borrow the sample video here. And the key thing to keep in mind when you're doing these AI personalized videos is instead of actually saying your viewer's name, you record the video using the placeholder word watermelon. Um, so in this video, I'll let you see what it looks like but it's a normal video of me talking. I'm just acting like I'm talking to my prospect named Watermelon. Hi, Watermelon. I just generated this video using SenseBark's AI. So I didn't really... And so the rest of the video is the same. I'm just recording a video, but we have that word Watermelon. Um, we're also toggling on simulate scrolling, which makes it look like we're scrolling on the website page. We have cursor overlay, um, which basically just makes it look like a more authentic scroll because you have a cursor there. I didn't mean to toggle it off. I'll toggle it back on. And then, of course, we have voice cloning. And this is important. It says, hey, SunSpark, replace the word watermelon, my viewer's first name, to make sure that that, um, that voice cloning is really authentic. In the next step, we will add um, the rest of the content to the video page. So by default, it's just going to send you know, your video and your logo on a page. But if you wanted to make it clear what you want the viewer to do after watching, then you can add some other text and buttons and things. I'm going to select from this template I have saved. So what we're doing here, the header says, hi, first name. We also have some other personalized variables you could use here. Um, for message, this is what's going in this bubble. And I'm saying like, hey, you know, book a meeting. For the call to action, I have the sign up link for SendSpark. You could do any link. And then for the calendar, I have a HubSpot embedded calendar, but we also integrate with some other platforms. Let me show you them. So you could select any of these and add your calendar. The end page is going to look something like this. So we get the video and then all of that content below. Final step, we'll just add the contacts. Um, there's a few ways you could do it. You could either type in the contacts, upload a CSV, or connect this to your CRM or set up some automation. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to use um, the sample CSV that we have here. So you can download this and test it out yourself. And basically, we have first name, some emails, company name, job titles, and background URLs. I'll click generate videos to start the generation process. And really the only fields you need to have here are going to be the first name that you're using in the AI intro. Um, the email is important for sending it out at scale. And then um, you can use the other variables if you're using them, like company name or job title as personalized variables in the background URL, of course, you need to show to show you recording over the screen. You'll see that the videos have started processing here. Um, generally it takes around 30 seconds to a minute per video. Um, maybe a little faster or slower, depending on the time of day. So if you have a large list, you might want to get that going earlier before you're ready to send. And you'll be able to track them all here. In terms of sending, you can send the videos one-on-one, -on -one, um, but what's going to be a little bit more scalable is sending them in your email or LinkedIn automation. So if you click on share campaign, you'll see all the different email platforms we integrate with. And I won't go through how to send it in each platform, but just keep in mind, if you were to click on that platform, then the content on the right is going to change and it's going to give you a custom walkthrough of how you can send it you know, in your Apollo sequences. So you're just copying this snippet once from SenseBark, putting it in your sequence in Apollo, and every person gets that personalized video made for them. So it's super, super scalable compared to recording videos or even copying and pasting videos for every person because you're just pasting it once and sending it out at scale. If you wanted to use this in LinkedIn automation um, or Facebook automation, then we have some other ways you can do this that's mostly going to recommend um, downloading. It's mostly going to include downloading the CSV and then uploading it into that platform um, to send it out. So you can check out some other tutorials on that. And I will also show you um, what the AI sounds like. So let me play a couple of the videos that generated. Hi, Bethany. I just generated this video using SenseBark's AI. So I didn't really just say your name. So you can see it said my name. It's recording over the SenseBark website. We'll also do one for Manny at Outreach. Hi, Manny. I just generated this video using SenseBark's AI. So and a new one loaded. So let's play this one. Yamini from HubSpot. Hi, Yamini. 
I just generated this video using SenseBar. So that's the high level of how it works and how it looks. One last thing I'll show you is when you send this out, if you want to track engagement, click on see engagement. There's nothing here yet because we haven't sent this out, but you'll be able to track the views, the plays, um, the call to action clicks, likes on your video. And then below here, you'll actually see the timeline of who's engaging and what percentage they watched. Um, so we hope this helps you connect personally at scale, um, get some amazing results from video, but without just without spending the time recording or repeating yourself. Um, so awesome. Let us know if you have any feedback or questions. Cheers.